Oh, I'm thirsty. Thanks. <laughs> What is today, Jacob? Monday. What is Monday? I'm going to year one. You're going to year one? I can't believe it. You finished kindergarten and you're going to year one. Yeah. Okay, let's get you to big school. Why? Let's go. Hop in the car. How was your first day at school? Good. How do you like year one? Good. It's just good? Yeah. Do you like kindergarten or year one better? Uh, year one. Year one? And do you like your teacher? Yeah. What did you do today? Uh, I, I done some great stuff if I get to play. If uh. that, was, that was the cool thing. That was the funnest. What was the funnest? You, you get some nails and get six and get shapes and you have a hammer and, and you stick it in. Oh, cool. The only time Dash will actually get into the shell pool and lay down is when there's no water in it. Dashie Bear, you want to hop out so I can fill up the clean water in it? Come on. Miss Kitana, it is raining right now and you're in the big giant bucket of water. And it's not even hot, Tans. And I just filled up the water. I just went inside a minute ago and then I heard Letty and Melina fighting. So I came outside to see what they were fighting about. And as I opened the door to come outside, they were both fighting really close to the edge of the balcony bit. It's about a meter height from there. And they both fell and broke that. And now they're hiding from me because they know they're in trouble. I have to go and wake Matthew up and tell him what happened. He's not gonna be happy.
So right now I'm just cleaning out the fridge. <laughs> Jacob, get out of my fridge! So I've already dropped off Jacob to school this morning and Isaac and I are on our way to my work. If you didn't know already, I am a nurse and I work in a hospital. I'm currently on maternity leave and it's about to end in about two weeks time. So I need to find out when my first day back at work is and also organize car park in the staff car park thing. Are you excited to read it? Yeah. It's your first book that you've ever borrowed from the library and from your school library. Yeah, and all of this was the first one is quiet, so I'll show you. You can show me your book. Do you like dogs? Yeah. Now is it? Yeah. Yeah. That looks like a super cool book. If it is, if it is, if it is, if it is a different book. You mean say girl? And then, and and no, and I want to run past it. It's a no pet to me out. If we go go in there. So right now we're on our way to see Isaac's pediatrician. The doctor wanted to see him six weeks after his last appointment for a checkup, especially his weight because he's on the lower end of the scale. He's under the third percentile and the doctor just wants to make sure that he's gaining weight like he should be. And also we need to get his pyloric ultrasound results.
we are back from Isaac's pediatrician appointment. There's good news and bad news. So the good news, everything from his pyloric ultrasound came back fine. Bad news is Isaac's weight is a big concern. So when Isaac was about six months old, he was about 6.7 kilograms. And six weeks ago at his last pediatrician's appointment, he was about 6.8 kilograms. And today when he got his weight checked, he was 6.9 kilograms. So in the last two months, he's only gained about 200 grams, which is not a lot at all. On average, most babies gain about half a kilo to a kilo a month, and 200 grams over two months is not good at all. So there's a lot of concerns with baby Isaac's health right now with his weight, and the doctor's really worried and curious about his weight, why he's not gaining weight. So he's recommended for me to start giving Isaac a lot more baby cereals. I know it's not really good for him, and it's just full of like carbohydrates and bad stuff for him and causes a lot of constipation, but I need to help Isaac gain weight so I'm gonna start giving it to him a lot more often I did start him on baby cereals a few weeks ago but I didn't give it to him that often like maybe once a week or so or I'll add a little bit to his fruit just to thicken it up but I wasn't giving it to him that often and the doctor has recommended for me to give it to him at least quite a few times each week at least maybe even daily just to help with his weight gain and also the doctor has recommended a blood test for me to do for baby Isaac well actually he's requested a about nine different blood tests and urine tests for him. Sorry, I'm just looking at his referral sheet. So the doctor has asked for a full blood count, blood sugar levels or blood glucose levels. He also wants to check his chromosomes as well as his thyroids and checking his kidney function. There's four other tests. I can't remember what they are and I don't know what they stand for with the abbreviations, but there is something called CFTS. I can't remember what that stands for or EVC and there's ferritin or something and some other urine test that he's also asked me to do. So next week I'm going to try and get that done. I'm not sure where I'm going to be able to do a blood test for a baby as the doctor has told me a lot of them might not do blood tests on babies so now I have to go and stress about trying to find somewhere to do his blood test. Right now I'm really concerned about baby Isaac. It's got me really worried after this appointment. So right now we're just gonna go inside and just relax because it's really hot and that's about it. So Jacob, Isaac and I are going to a birthday party. I think it's a birthday lunch or something for Matthew's brother's son. So he's turning one years old and this is what we got him. Matthew's not coming with us because he's actually at work. So it's just gonna be me and the kids. Time to go! 